but I haven't made a video in a long time and I'm out in the living area because the lighting is better and it'll make the video quality better for you guys since I only have my webcam now. So sad. Anyway, uh, my stepdad's sleeping so I'm gonna have to be a little quiet. So I'm very sorry about that. Uh, but I went on Twitter after coming home from school, so if I'm red, I just got home. Um, and it's very hot outside, it's 106 degrees. Perks of California. Uh, anyway, it is World Suicide Prevention Day. And this is a very serious topic because suicide is serious. Um, anyway. I kind of just wanted to say, you know, you should be kind to people, and you need to be nice to people, which is redundant, but, um, you just, I don't know, just respect people a little more, put a little more into the world. Um, I know that's a really hard concept to get out there nowadays, but, you know, being in high school, there's a lot of immature people. To cut to the chase, suicide is very personal, I would say, kind of to me, because I kind of, I'm still going through this, but I'm a very anxious person, and I get depressed very easily, so I'm always, you know, I don't know, there's just some, some times when I don't feel good, you know, and I think that if a little more kindness from the world that would happen less in people because um, nowadays there's a lot of like depressed people and it's a more common occurrence than it ever really has been which is tragic um, the actual national decline of happiness started in 1950 um, and that's when the happiness levels went down ironically that's when like electronics started like coming in like televisions and you know things like that so social media also has a big impact on the world uh a lot of people also i noticed like today i was sitting on the bus people are taking pictures of people without their permission last i checked that's illegal you cannot take pictures of minors without their consent and i like yeah. um and these freshmen were taking pictures of my friends and you know it was without their consent and they were posting it on snapchat or instagram or whatever and you know it was kind of rude like you're supposed to ask people before you do that kind of thing and you know that's kind of like this has nothing to do with suicide, I don't know what I'm talking about this, but like sometimes it actually can kind of lead to suicide because people are posting things on Snapchat or on Instagram without thinking about it. And I think that's the key word in this video is thinking. Think before you social media. And that's a thing that people say at my school a lot is think before you social media, uh, which means think before you post something. Uh, you want to be very careful in this day and age. There are a lot of weird things that go on. So, you know, what I'm just trying to say is be very careful, be appropriate, be kind, um, share your love towards other people. Uh, also, another topic I kind of wanted to touch on are hate pages. There are whole Instagram pages made up for just hate towards one person. And I see this quite commonly from my cousin. I stalk her Instagram. I stalk the crap out of it, which sounds weird, but I love her. She's my best friend. Uh, and you know, I see her post a lot of things all the time about these hate pages saying we need to shut these down, and you know what, that's a good thing. You, who just devotes their time to making a hate page on Instagram for one little cosplayer? It's, it's sad and tragic, and it, it's just, I don't know, this is... It's really strange to me what the world has become. Uh, I think that's about all I wanted to touch on. But you know, just before I go, this video, I'm very sorry that I didn't have a script or anything, but I literally just found out, like I said, that this was going on and I wanted to make this video.